Greetings viewers, welcome back to Phasmophobia for another weekly challenge. This time it's Tortoise and the Hare Tortoise. Without further ado, let's hop in and see what's in store for us this week. Alright, so here we are in Grafton. Ooh. Changed colour for some reason. That's, I think, since the shop update. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but I'll have a look at that later. Where else? We've got no setup time, 100% sanity. Breakers on the map. We have tier 2, a lot of tier 2 by the looks, interesting, and we are slow as you can see. Um, so hey, hey, alright, let's go. Whoa, it's a lot of activity over here. Turn the light on, you're on in there. You're also throwing a absolute ton. We had a voodoo doll. I didn't hear it from upstairs, so. Alrighty. I knew it was probably down here. I just pulled one pin. Looks like we found a ghost. And that was a lot of activity just then. Yeah. Trying to go there, was it? Nope. Didn't really look at any others. I'm not sure if we have any other. I think it's probably a random curse possession. Just one. Pretty normal. Okay, no fingies, but it looks probably. Now, I was going to say something before um, before I start, then the ghost start doing lots of crazy stuff. Um, I have to apologize that I have uh, I'm a bit behind on editing these so this is going to come out pretty late I imagine I think I have like four or five videos ch weekly challenges that I'm behind so uh, apologies for that just had some uh, family personal things that kind of gotten in the way hello there I think it might be freezing maybe Maybe not. We'll find out soon. It's still going down, uh, but yeah. So hopefully this will come out sh as soon as I can get a, um, get it out and get all the others edited now. Where are you, writing? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? That's a kind of surprising. Where are you? Are you here? Yeah, I'm feeling the ghost is going to be fast, by the way. Um, so if it just was throwing a lot, which immediately made me think this, but without um, spirit box, that kind of reels that out because um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be three evidences I could be wrong also uh, thank you for understanding if you uh, have actually been waiting I don't think I've got any people waiting to watch my videos but in case there's someone out there I, again I apologize that things have been a bit um, tough for me at the moment uh, but I'm getting there so it's all good and thank you for your patience um, but yeah, I thought this would probably be possibly a poltergeist. But then, high levels of activity. It's always hard with the weekly challenges because they, like, you don't know what setting the activity is, right? The activity is set to high. Um, like on amateur for example it's going to be doing a lot more stuff than what i would normally be used to on nightmare when activity is set to low yep you're not known any but i kind of knew that already uh so yeah that can be that can throw you off especially i don't see any orbs though definitely don't see orbs um Yeah, 
thought you were going to go down to freezing. So what are we... Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Demon can almost hunt, but a demon would be this, right? And I'm pretty sure it's not that. Should keep checking with this. I don't know why I turned that off. Ah, hmm. Again, this would be spirit box. Yeah, so you can be led astray, basically. Actually, no, demon isn't that sorry demons fingerprints which I'm also pretty sure it's not whoops what am I doing what is this okay I don't see I don't see any EMF fives don't see any orbs what are you? Must be MF5. Get rid of this because there's no point in having this. It's not dots. Cannot be dots. Because there's no combination for dots. I seem to be doing stuff when I was in here though, which is not what I would expect, let's just say. Um, again, I'm pretty sure it has to be not that. So shade should not be able to do very much when you're in the room. Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? How old are you? Of course it was. I don't know why I didn't get it before, but it's a Moroi. Spirit box. Alrighty, that's that one done. Actually, I'm kind of interested. Let's hear how fast this beast is. Now I'm going to be cursed now, so my sanity's going to be dropping like a rock. So... I may hunt even before I get the chance to do much about it. So when you curse, I think you lose sanity twice as fast and you lights no longer protect, lights and candles and such no longer protect your sanity from dropping. So the more I will chew your sanity up pretty badly. This will also be chewing up my, my sanity. That's one of the reasons I'm doing it. I'm not going to try and loot this one. Oh yeah, it sounds like 120, 150, I think. I think it is. It's hard to hear. Like Footstep sounds are always a bit iffy on Oh, that's fast. Yep, farmhouse map. That was pretty fast. And I'm not sure if I'll be at zero. Let's go have a look at my sanity is. Uh, uh, getting out of the house should stop the sanity drain, so we should know um, what my sanity was at at the end there. But that seemed pretty fast. And yeah, my sanity is at 2%, so that would be the fastest that a Mori will get. Um, pretty terrifying, though. Definitely pretty terrifying. There we go, Moroi. Definitely with the slow speed, I would not recommend trying to loop um, a, a Thay or a Moroi on this difficulty. I mean, you, if, if you feel comfortable, go for it. But it's going to be a little bit tough. On to the next one. And the thing is, there are definitely people out there that totally would be able to loop. Well, maybe not. That's, that's where you're going a bit too far. But they... Uh, oh, I didn't check where the breaker was. I probably should have. Uh, 
they would probably be able to survive that just because they're so good because they play so much and they are so experienced and just also more skilled than I am. I would definitely find it quite difficult though. Um, I'm, I might get lucky, but there's a good chance I'd die if I tried to loop it around here or around the kitchen table. I mean, there's a chance you can get unlucky too and it can just decide to just follow you and you would never be able to outrun such a fast ghost at this speed. Um, but normally you can predict, you can somewhat predict the paths of ghosts. They rarely tend to, they sometimes they do tend, they, sometimes they go around weird ways, but a lot of the times they'll walk around the more common paths rather than going into the corners of rooms. And that's why you can, if you are really good at hearing where the ghost is, how far it is, uh, which way it's moving, which direction. Is that the one over here? Yeah, it is. Found ourselves a ghost by the looks. Oh, I didn't actually look for the cursed possessions. I should have. Take this off first. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's definitely doable. Um, and if you feel comfortable, I say go for it. Ah, there we go. Yes, I knew it was going to be that. Totally. That's why I didn't check all those other places. Uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of this room. It's a... Second, I drop my light. Um, yeah, I mean, if you feel comfortable, go for it. It can be a pretty fun thing to try and do, but um, I'd definitely try going normal speed, normal sprint at with the ghost at 150% before I would uh, recommend reducing your speed or your sprint and trying to loop it. Um, because there's a lot more opportunity where you can actually skillfully avoid the ghost under those conditions. You know, if you get rid of your sprint or if you um, reduce your speed, basically, particularly if the ghost is super fast, like a Thay or a Moroi, um, there's going to be situations where even the best players will get stuck, just where they're really unlucky. And the ghost is going to follow them, etc. Um, follow them when, even, even when it can't see them, and they'll just get unlucky. But if you actually have proper sprint and um, proper sprint, proper speed, the, the number of instances where you can actually show your skill off, in other words, where it is possible to survive, I did not turn that on, uh, where it is actually possible to survive, is increased, basically. Uh, you, have, you have more opportunities to show off skillful play, uh, which would be difficult. I don't know if I really want that. I don't like that. Actually, we'll keep it completely open. I can still tell if it's been touched. for that is if, in case it's a Ure. Uh Yeah, whereas if you have no sprint and you're at 50% movement speed, you often just, there's a lot of situations, if you just get unlucky, you are just, you just have no hope. Even the best player has no hope. Um, whereas at normal speed, good, you know, the better you are, the more, more chance you have. Uh, and there are definitely people out there who are a lot better than me, who I've seen do some incredible things. Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you French? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? How old are you? Are you old? Where are you? Hello, where are you? I can't quite see you. You shut all the doors. You might have been in here. 
just behind the door. Okie dokie. We want this. Actually, we do want that. Which door was it? Just touched another door. Okay, it looks like not UV. No, it's the same door, I think. Also, it's not a mare because it turned on that light. Uh, it still could be that, but we'll come back to that. I reckon it's probably freezing, is it? Yeah, it's going to be freezing. A little bit more time. Why did that? This could be a harm to. It's turning off the breaker quite a lot, and I reckon it's going to be freezing. Harm to have fingies, though. So maybe it's not. I think hard to use fringies. Fringies. I think it's fringies. Now this, I think I was going to say it before. I um, kind of forgot. This room is not really one of my favourite rooms because I'm reasonably sure all these count as part of the room, uh, which has one benefit in that I think a single light on counts as having the light on in all of them. But otherwise, it's generally a disadvantage because, like, orbs can be in any of the three rooms. So, if like sanity drain, it's kind of an advantage, but otherwise, it's annoying. It's also a very large room, right? So, it's difficult to cover all of it. That makes sense. Hello there. Hello there. What are you up to? What's your name? I hope you're not yokai, because if I'm talking to you, you're going to get very angry. Uh, we will, we'll all set that up somehow. Well, uh, probably should be checking this because it could very well be there. It is, yep. What was that? Not sure what it actually was, but we got EMF5. Using gin, we know it's not a gin. Shade only twins, so we know it's not a gin because it continuously kept turning the goddamn breaker off. You have to? Um, it's not doing a lot when I'm in here, is it? Uh oh. Oh, good. Phew. see it. Um, let's go have a look at our sanity actually. Just trying to think if it's done on anything while we've been in the room. It has been pretty quiet. Yeah. Yeah, why aren't you writing my book? So we've all grabbed this. Oh we don't need that anymore. So what I was thinking is that it doesn't, it, it's been doing quite a bit, but not while I was in the room. Uh, which kind of points to shade. I'm guessing it must be either medium or high interactions um, at the moment. It also didn't really destroy my sanity like I thought it would. Have you drawn in my book? Drawn in my book. If it would be an Oni, right? Also, I wasn't really doing many ghost events at the start. It's done a lot more after my sanity started to drop, which is a very shady thing. 
it also hasn't hunted and I'm around 40% sanity. Very, very shady thing to do. I don't know why you aren't writing in my book. Write in my book. You just stay on, you threw it without writing. You can't do that, can you? What? I can't free you. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go have a look. That's a bit confusing. I not get hit by it. I thought I was at 43 before. Wow. I must have got hit by it. I thought I heard it go, maybe it didn't. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, okay, let's go. So what's really confused me is that the way the books used to work, I mean, maybe they've changed the way they worked. But if the ghost throws a book, it used to mean it is not ghost writing. Ghost writing is out as a possibility. And as I showed you, uh, it is actually thrown both of the books now. Oh. See it. God damn it. So let's go check my sanity. See when it hunted. Because if it hunted above 35, it can't be a shade. Which I'm thinking it can't be a shade anyway. Because it's through the writing book. Unless they've changed that. Um, so it used to be if it. Uh, 33, 35. Oh, feels like a shade. That would be like it hunted me the instant I got low enough. Which is going to drop my sanity. So rather than this, let's just do that. And we'll go and check for spirit box because it's really the only reasonable option. I think, because it's, I mean, it could be an Oni. And did it do a ghost ball before? It might have, and I might have just not remembered. If it did, then the Oni's out. The previous ghost definitely did. Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? If it is Oni, where are you? I should have brought in another dots. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you French? Are you here? Where are you? Must be an Oni. So they did something with the dots AI that improved. Oh, it is an Oni. There you go. Alrighty, Oni. Oh, there you go. So, I don't know why we didn't get to see it before. Um, and that, that mustn't have hit me. I, I must have just thought it hit me and it didn't. Um, I should have run into the ghost event. It ran out before it touched me. Because he only would have drained 20%. Uh, 
That didn't seem to drain anything. Uh, I wonder why it didn't hunt for so long. It took a long time to do its first ghost event, which is odd for an Oni, and then it also just took a long time to hunt. It was a little slack. I mean, 17 minute game. It did, did five ghost events, I guess. That's fairly substantive, but. I don't know, it was a bit it was a bit lazy. I like turning off the fuse box though. Anyway, on to the next one. I was hoping to catch uh, a glimpse of it during that hunt just then. Uh but, but it ended up going a different direction than I thought it would. So unfortunately I didn't catch a glimpse of it. It stayed in its room for a long time. Then when it came out here, it went. I should have known. They usually do try and go upstairs if once they leave their room. They usually get stuck and then they will try and go up. I don't know why, uh, but they often do. Uh, but I unfortunately thought that it was going to spend more time out here. But when I came here, because I'm so slow, and when I got here, it was already running that way, and I'm like, ah, and then it ran out. Because uh, if you see it, it should be invisible for less time, basically. That's that's the only hunting ability. It'll spend less time invisible. Uh, they'll be very short. Like, every single invisible portion will be short, relatively short. It'll be, like, at most half a second. I forget the exact numbers. I think it's actually less than that, even. I think it's, like, actually 2.25, but I could be wrong. Okay, we got this guy. He can make things a bit quicker. Monkey paw is a little, little powerful unless they've changed it. I wish to trap the ghost. Oh, whoops. Apparently it closes the room. Seemingly it closes the room um, that you, I don't know actually, was I, because it sounded like it locked both the front door and the, um, oh, I should leave these behind, what am I doing? Sounds like it locked the front door and the kitchen door. Because I was on kind of like the border of them. Somehow it looked like it closed two rooms worth of doors, which is interesting. So I should close all the doors in the room you're in. That's why I chose the kitchen. Uh, and where the ghost is. And lock them. And I definitely did that. But then I must have walked out too quickly because it locked the front door as well. Um, unless they've changed it towards they locked the front door. But then they must have forgotten uh, the fact that a lot of maps have more than one door and the reason it locks like that is because after a minute it'll hunt right, that's, that's supposed to be the penalty uh, it, honestly it's usually more of an advantage um, I would actually usually like to hear the ghost oh, that's pretty suspect hear the hunt um, but I it's been a while since I've done 150% speed so it's going to be pretty hard for me to tell just based on speed, um, the type of ghost. Whereas normally that would actually be a bike beneficial. Yeah, so it locked both those. I'm not sure why. Well, actually, I, I think I know why. It's clearly because it activated as I was crossing the threshold, I'm guessing. And this one should have a locked symbol, see? So I couldn't open it before, and now it's got a locked symbol. And it's literally the only way these interior doors can be locked. Hello ghost, where are you? Because I was outside the house during that minute, like, you know, I, I skipped the hunt. But like I said, I did that on purpose because at 150% speed, I'm just, at the moment, it's been a while, I'm not that comfortable judging speeds uh, at 150%. Where are you? 
Okay, we have uh, first evidence. That was a lot easier than the others. It's not an Oni, but I don't think it could be an Oni anyway. Let's bring these over to the room. Go away. Not that it really matters, I've got plenty of ways to get Sandy back. So that one didn't touch me. That's what must have happened before, and I just didn't realise it. So Oni's out anyway. But yeah, the ghost orb, ghost ball, ghost event, Oni's cannot do. They also cannot give spirit box, so... That as a throw, wasn't it? It was EMF3, so it's a throw. Are you cold? You are cold. We might have ourselves a mimic. Maybe. So, whenever you see orb, ultraviolet, um, orb, ultraviolet, freezing. Spirit and spirit box, any combination of like two of those. I always think it might be a mimic, just check for mimic. If you get um, ghost writing EMF5 or dots, though, you can rule out mimic. It's obviously not a mimic thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. See this? This is a bit suspicious. This happens when a ghost does two things at, with different, see how it changes slope? It does two interactions to something so close together that they show up as one on the board and it has to have two different, e like, so the EMF values on the board are a bit, they're, they're the, the EMF values you can read with your device uh, with a bit of randomness added in, basically. So it doesn't actually have to be two different EMF values on your EMF reader. It just has to be come out as two different ones on the board. And when it does that at the same time, essentially the same instant, that's what it looks like. And there is one ghost that has an ability to do this. Other ghosts can do something which looks very similar, right? But it's much rarer. Okay, EMF five. Yeah, there you go. Twins. It's much less common. And you can, you can see, right? So the twins can also do a lot in the surrounding area. Has it been doing anything over here? Yes, it's been throwing stuff over here. In fact, I think that's what I originally heard. That's why I was a bit surprised that it was this door. I actually expected it to be in one of these. Um, particularly that one, because it's got bottles and glasses. So the twins... There's not really much for it to interact with over here. Have the ability to... They can interact within a larger radius, basically. Uh, and there's like... Um, it's one ghost, they're standing on the same spot, but one has a much larger range uh, and it can interact independently, basically. Um, so you have your normal ghost just doing normal interactions and then you have this other ghost that's got a much longer range also, or not other ghost, but the same ghost with a much larger range, still standing in the same spot. Um, kind of like it's riding on his shoulders, uh, but with really long arms and it can interact at range. It's also um, can hunt from weird locations. That's the main danger of the twins, to be honest. It, um, and when it does, it's actually a little faster. If it hunts from the main ghost, we call it the decoy, the other ghost. If it hunts from the main ghost, it's slightly slower. Uh, again, 125% speed. You should, actually, it's usually pretty easy at 125% speed, uh, speed to hear it. Should I, should I do that? Nah, uh, we'll call it, I think. Uh, 
just because it'll take a bit of time because you've got to get a couple of hunts in and i've had times where twins do like f it's it's rare because it, it is like statistically if you do it over a large enough number it's 50 percent of the time it'll be a decoy 50 percent of the time it'll be a non-decoy hunt so 50% of the time it'll be 10% faster, 50% of the time it'll be 10% slower. But I've had times where you just get really unlucky and you get like four decoys in a row and you're sitting around waiting. I don't want to go through that. So uh, <laughs> maybe next time. Uh, and that's just luck based, right? And as soon as we got the MF5 too, reels Mimic out. Mimic can't have MF5. There we go, twins. So again, that that slope change that I pointed out is abilities used four. So this is this ability is it where it does two things back to back, almost simultaneously. Other ghosts can randomly do this. I've often seen probably more than any other ghost poltergeists do this just because they are so active and they, um, but still quite rare. For them to show up on the board as if they occurred in the same instant on the board and you get that slope change but they can do it so do be aware of that it's not like the instant you see a slope change like that it's definitely a uh um a twins so that's not that's definitely not the case but it might be there's a good chance it will be now you then that's when you like if you are no evidence uh, you can use additional information like it's whether it's doing stuff in a large area um, if you can hear things rooms away being moved and then you know it's just like it's doing things faster than what it goes to can actually roam basically like it's touching something here then something way over there then something here again you probably think it could be twins um, and the hunt speeds the hunt speed you just listen it should sound either a little bit slower or a little bit faster than a normal ghost and again it's 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 one of the most difficult speeds to tell off of a single hunt that's why i didn't go and and uh show it off because we could have been sitting there for 15 minutes depending on how lazy the ghost is at hunting if you get a decoy and the normal ghost back to back it's quite obvious that the ghost is changing speed um and it's pretty significant because again like off of one hunt it's only 10 percent different than normal whereas back to back the decoy and the twins are uh, around 20 percent difference so the decoy and the non-decoy are about 20 percent different from each other so they're it's much easier to compare the decoy and the non-decoy than compare the decoy and a normal speed ghost from a previous hunt, if that makes sense. Uh, so if you don't have evidence, that's generally how you'll pick it up. You'll just listen, you'll be like, oh, this ghost has exactly two speeds. One slightly faster than normal, one slightly slower than normal. It's probably a twin. Uh, and again, it, it chooses which one it is at the beginning of the hunt. That's also important. So that entire hunt, it's that speed. It doesn't change in the middle of a hunt, but it does speed up like normal in line of sight. Um, so in many ways, it's very close to a normal ghost. But yeah, uh, this challenge is all right. Like it, reducing player speed again does make the game more difficult. I don't know if it makes it more fun. Challenges that do this, uh, they're, they're okay every now and again, but it, it, it's definitely way more fun if you're faster. It is a bit of extra challenge. Um, I prefer things like the Apocalypse Draws Near, personally, for challenge, uh, even though it's a pretty tough challenge. But that's, you know, that's because it makes the ghost faster and it, it doesn't take any tools away from the player right the the tools the player has are exactly the same uh as a normal game in the apocalypse draws near challenge uh it just makes the ghost way deadlier and that 
uh, I tend to find is more fun than these type of things where you weaken the player. Um, especially considering it, it kind of makes you not want to uh, risk anything. Like let's like when doing the apocalypse challenge, one thing you tend to do is uh, avoid risk, right? You know, whereas in normal gameplay you go, oh yeah, I think I can risk it, and you know you go out. Whereas apocalypse challenge, you just can't because you know you will not survive it. Right, it's as simple as that. You will not survive it uh, if you risk it. Um, you can only risk it under very certain. You can only do risks under very calculated circumstances, basically. But yeah, I mean, I, I still like. I do like the ones where we had the theme last time, where it's the tortoise and the hare, hare, and this time it's the tortoise and the hare, tortoise. I do like that, and the fact they're both in the farmhouses, stuff like that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this challenge yourself this week. Uh, again, this will be coming out a bit late, and I apologise. Uh, again, and uh, thank you for putting up with that. Hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you next time. Remember, the dose makes the poison.